All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have a we have a new contender for the best raid Pokemon for taking on Inteleon for taking on Great Value James Bond. Okay, uh, so tonight we're gonna talk about another Pokemon that just gets used all the freaking time. Uh, we're gonna talk about King Gambit tonight, chat. So we're gonna throw together a quick King Gambit build that just absolutely destroys this raid. And it, if you have King Gambit, it shouldn't take you that long to put together, okay? So, super solid build. We have tested this one numerous times already, and it's awesome. So, with that being said, let's get to it, and let's talk about how you're going to build the ultimate King Gambit to take on Inteleon the Unrivaled. Okay, so if you are going to build yourself uh, a King Gambit, first off, you're going to need to get yourself a King Gambit. Now, I have one that's built already, and I also have one that is not built. Uh, I'm not going to show you guys how to get King Gambit because King Gambit is ridiculously difficult to get and it's very time consuming. Not as bad as, or it's actually worse than Annihilate this. But if you need to get yourself a King Gambit, here's what you're going to do. You're going to go find yourself an area where Ponyard or Bisharp spawn very frequently. Uh, my suggestion for you would be like over here near Fur uh, Fury Falls in this like bamboo area over here. Uh, make yourself a steel sandwich. Because what you have to do is you have to get yourself a Bisharp that is holding the King's Crest, uh, or whatever it's called. Once you get that, you have to use that Bisharp to defeat three other Bisharps that are holding the King's Crest. And then it will evolve into King Gambit. Yeah. It's kind of ridiculous. So, either way, get yourself a King Gambit uh, and get it up to level 100. And once you've got that done, let's look at what you're going to need to do for Eevees and Ivies for this guy. However, once you do have yourself a King Gambit, we need to go talk about Eevees and Ivies. So you're going to go to whatever town of your choice that has a chance to supply. And if you've watched one of my videos before, you know where we're going. It's Lavincia North. It's where the action's at. All right. And once you've made your way to Lavincia North, you're going to want to make sure that your King Gambit is at the top of your party. If he is not level 100 already, use whatever method you're going to use to get him to level 100. Hop on your raid Pokemon, head down the street, or head to your local Chansey Supply, because uh, it is time to buy some vitamins for this guy. All right, so once you are inside of Chansey Supply, here's what you're going to need to do. Uh, you're going to need to start yourself a bulk buy, because we're going to spend some serious money here. And we're going to buy ourselves 25 protein, because we're going to max out our physical attack on our King Gambit. And then you're going to need to buy yourself 25 zinc, because we're going to max out our special defense on King Gambit as well. And while you're at it, you're also going to want to pick yourself up an Adamant Mint, which is uh, physical attack up and special attack down. King Gambit is definitely not a special attacker. And once you've done that, you're going to fork over 520,000 Poke Dollars to our favorite store in the game. Uh, and then let's hop outside and build this guy. All right, and once you've made your way outside, it's time to put this guy together. So we're going to make sure he's at the top of our party. We're going to head to our bag. We're going to start off by giving our King Gambit 25 proteins. Just like so. Do, do, do. There we go. We're going to give him 25 protein. After we've done that, we're going to give him 25 zinc. And if you've been doing Inteleons already, odds are, Inteleon raids already, odds are you have a ton of zinc in your party. In your party? In your bag. There we go. So we're going to give this guy 24 because we obviously have some EVs invested somewhere else on this guy. And once we're done with that, we're going to come down. We're going to give him two muscle feathers. Oh, nope. We're maxed out already. Fantastic. And if we don't have them already, two Clever Feathers. Fantastic. And then with that, we should be good to go. Yep, cool. Our EVs are maxed out. We're going to give him an Adamant Nature real quick. Just like that. Nice. He has an Adamant Nature. Now it should look a little something like this. You should have King Gambit, level 100, Dark and Steel typing. Uh, you should have max EVs in your physical attack and special defense. And we need to look at our ability, because ours right now is Pressure. So we need to make sure that that is actually Defiant, not Pressure. And once you have your King Gambit's ability changed to Defiant, it should look something like this. King Gambit's level 100, Dark and Steel type. Uh, our EVs are maxed out in Attack and Special Defense, and our ability is Defiant. And with that, it's time to go see our favorite friend in the shade, or our favorite shady friend in the glasses. And do some IV training real quick, so I'll see you guys there. And now that we're up at Mount Taverna, it's time to do some e or IV training. So what you're going to do is you're going to come over and see our shady friend. My guy is IV trained already. But you're going to want to IV train everything except your special attack on this one. We're not a special attacker, so it's not going to matter if our special attack is IV trained. 
So use those bottle caps up, get your IV training done, and once you're done with that, let's look at the moves that King Gambit needs to know in order to take down Inteleon the Unrivaled. And ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. King Gambit is officially done and ready to go into a raid. So look a little something like this. King Gambit, level 100, dark and steel type with a steel terror type. If you do not have a steel terror type on this guy yet, make sure you get it because that is key for beating this raid. Hold item is the shell bell. You should have max EVs in your attack and special defense with an adamant nature. Your ability is defiant and the move set looks a little something like this. Uh, Iron Head and Sword Stance. That's all you need. But you can throw in Metal Burst and Stone Edge in there as backup moves if you need them. The strat for this one's pretty simple. You're going to hop in, use Sword Stance first turn. Inteleon should use Tearful Look to boost you up to plus five. And after that, spam Iron Head. And as soon as you can Terastalize, do it. Once you've done that, Inteleon's going to go into the ground. With that being said, let's look at what this looks like in a raid. All right, so if you, oh, it's shiny Inteleon too. All right, if you're gonna use King Gambit, here is exactly how this works. Uh, you're gonna hop into the raid and the very first thing that you are gonna do is when you get the chance to do something, uh, is first turn you're gonna use Sword Stance. Okay, and you're gonna use Sword Stance, just like so. Our attack rises sharply, which is absolutely phenomenal. After we do that, we're gonna start off with Iron Head. Inteleon's gonna snipe shot us, but luckily it doesn't do that much. Iron Head does excellent chip damage, and if you're doing this online, you're just gonna keep restoring health because you have a shell bell. Inteleon's gonna use Blizzard. Just like so. It's not very effective. We really don't care. The only concern here is getting frozen like Magnezone just got. Inteleon's gonna put up a shield. We really don't care at this point. Do, do. There we go, we're gonna throw out Iron Head again. Just like that, he's a snipe shot. Doesn't do that much. We got two Iron Heads, we're doing decent chip damage. At this point, we're just doing Iron Head until we get to the point that we can uh, Thrasilize. So we're gonna do one more Iron Head. The snipe shot does like no damage whatsoever. Iron Head, just like that. And you can see that we have another King Gambit in the raid that is literally getting ready to Terastalize already. Stat changes are nullified, that's fine. We really don't care at this point. Because at this point we can Terra, and since we can do Terastalize Iron Head, we're good. For it, there he is. All right, so he's gonna use tearful look. That's fantastic. Plus, we got a helping hand here as well. Our attack falls, but our defiant activates. Our attack rises sharply. Special attack falls, but our special attack rises sharply. And we use Iron Head with a helping hand and do some serious damage to our boy Inteleon. And at this point, we just keep doing the same thing. It's just Iron Head over and over and over again. One, two, and look at that. He's already down in the yellow. We've got over half the time bar left. Our HP's back up. Our King Gambits haven't died once. Shield is gone. And now that Shield is gone, all we gotta do is just uh, run through one more time. miss we do this we go in with iron head there's one we go in with another iron head with the helping hands do some massive damage and now all we take is just one more iron head and he is down and we're good to go last iron head boom there you go Inteleon the unrivaled taken down with literally only two king gambits and I guarantee you can do this solo that's all it takes. And we even had an Inteleon in this raid too. So get out there, make yourself a King Gambit. Uh, it's a little bit difficult, but I can tell you right now, it is 100% worth it for this raid. So get yourself King Gambit, get him built, get ready to go. And if you need any help with anything, let me know down in the comments below, or let me know what Pokemon that you're using to take on Inteleon for these raids. Remember as always, you guys got this. I believe in you and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later.